Well done, Tom. What a fantastic career. 1,500 winners and the longevity of your career, you know, day in, day out, the professionalism to the day you stop and very well done on that. And um, you've been a good friend the whole way through. Um, but I look forward to um, you improving your dress sense. Uh, that's much needed and your cricketing and your rugby skills. I hear you're going on the rugby pitch now. So um, best of luck with that. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Hey, Tom. I guess when I read your statement on Thursday morning, I knew exactly what you meant and felt. As my father-in-law always says, it's an awful pity that youth is wasted on the young. But such is life. And as you so elegantly put it, the falls just don't get any easier. And I'm afraid they are part of the game. What wasn't so elegant, though, was the manner in which you mugged me in the article aboard Western Warhorse. I still watch the replay and wonder, did I actually lose? But I guess you got the check and I didn't. So therein lies the proof. But anyway, the very best of luck with whatever you choose to do. It was a privilege to ride with you, and I wish you every success in the future. Scooty, congratulations on an amazing career. Your hard work, dedication, commitment, and talent have enabled you to be ultra consistent for 25 years. And the way you conducted yourself in that time was something to be very, very proud of. Um, we'll miss you in our corner of the weighing room. Um, and luckily we'll see plenty of you being your neighbours. Congratulations from all the O'Briens. So sorry you're retiring, Tom. I thought things were going better than ever. Thought your riding was brilliant. Anyway, um, I think you rode us a couple of winners. Nearly won the King George the year it was run at Sandown on Monk Austin for us. Didn't quite work out. Anyway, I wish you all the best in whatever you do in the future. Well, things those change. It's been an enormous pleasure to watch you ride and we've had some great days. We've also had some bad ones, but I will miss watching you ride. I won't miss the hospital visits or the phone calls to say that you're hurt. And it's time to move on to a new chapter and get a proper job. Hi Scoop, wishing you all the best in your retirement. We're gonna miss you, particularly on Maudie's side. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do now. We don't have your stories to listen to and particularly around Aintree time. But uh, I hope you have a very happy retirement and absolutely delighted for you that you got out in one piece. You've been an absolute legend to work with and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing lots more of you on the race course, just in another capacity. All the best. Hi Scoo, congratulations on, um, on your retirement and getting out in one piece on your own terms. You should be very proud of um, what you achieved as a jockey. Um, you know, from our point of view, the, the relationship was thistle crack when the world hurdle and all those big races over hurdles and the thing going on to the King George was massive. Also a, a Hennessy on size in Tennessee. But just your day to day riding on anything, um, you always give 100%. You always had great feedback and um, we really appreciate what, what you did when you were riding for us. Um, no doubt we'll keep on in touch. You know, a lot of people don't know, but I'm a godparent too to one of your daughters. Um, so we'll see plenty of you in the future and just wish you wish you luck, you'll do really well in whatever you do and you should be very proud of your career. Hi Skew, just want to say congratulations on a fantastic career. Um, yeah, many great days in the saddle. Um, obviously uh, keeping up the Skew more name as well, which is very important. Um, but I think, yeah, um, unfortunately you managed to ruin the end of my career um, by beating me at Newbury when uh, he was supposed to go out, I was supposed to go out on a winner um, and then uh, yeah couldn't, couldn't manage to do it after that but um, thanks for that um, but yeah we had many great days together um, and again you had a fantastic career you're always very positive uh, and a complete professional um, and also a great role model for all the young jockeys coming through um, and just good luck now in the future uh, with everything you do going forward and um, we will see you very very soon good luck Hi Tom, I just want to wish you all the best in your retirement and to say what a pleasure it was to share the way room with you. I can't believe that you had your first ride in 1997. How have you ended up uh, still with those good looks and I'm the mess that I am is beyond me. Um, but just to say you were a great credit um, to the sport. It was, it was a joy to, to ride with you and to share the way room with you. You should be very proud of what you achieved and best of luck in the future. Luck on Sunday, proudly sponsored by Albasti Equiworld Dubai.
At Racing TV, 100% of our profits go back into racing. Thank you for supporting the sport that we all know and love. Luck on Sunday, proudly sponsored by Albasti Equiworld Dubai. Tom Scudamore, fantastic guy, wonderful jockey, and what a phenomenal career you've had. You should be very proud of what you've achieved. Enjoy yourself, you'll be truly missed. Hi Ski, congratulations on a brilliant career in the saddle, one I'm sure yourself and your family are very proud of. Best of luck with whatever you choose to do next, but hopefully before then you can have a little bit of downtime first. Good luck and hope to see you around soon. Tommy Skew, glad to see the back of you, my friend. Glad to see the back of you. We've had our ups and we've had our downs together, but um, look at, um, no, all joking aside, um, very, very sorry to see you leaving the wire room. Uh, I am glad you got out in one piece. Uh, because to be fair, you were getting a little bit older and a little bit more miserable the more time you were at the race courses. Um, but lucky you've gone out in one piece and um, I'm delighted you've got plenty of time to spend with a lovely family and stuff like that. But yeah, you've been a true inspiration, uh, very, very professional the whole way through your career. Um, you've had so many great days in the saddle and uh, you know, it's a new chapter now. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you still on the race course, hopefully for the media, whatever you're doing, uh, whatever you do in your next chapter of your life, um, I'm sure you're going to be just as successful. But um, it's been a pleasure to sit beside you for the last five years and uh, you've been, uh, it's been good fun. All the best on your retirement, Thomas. I certainly won't miss packing your bag up at the end of the day. All the best on your retirement, Thomas. I'm going to miss your stories about the Grand National. Have a good retirement, Thomas. Enjoy tying your cap. <laughs> Just like to wish all the very best to fellow Coral Ambassador Tom Scudamore and congratulations on a fantastic career. Um, me and Tom often joked about two of the biggest rollickings he got from his boss, Mr Pipe, um, both of which came when I beat him in a novice hurdle and a novice chase. Um, it was on the same horse and that horse later turned out to be Gold Cup winner Native River. Um, so whether or not the uh, rollickings were justified, I'm not so sure. But um, yeah, thanks for all the memories, Tom. And again, congratulations and uh, hopefully see you soon. All right, Skew, just on the way home from Kelso. I'm sure this is part of the job you won't miss. Well done, fantastic career. I'm sure we'll see you around soon. And best of luck, whatever you turn your hand to next. Happy retirement, Skew. Good luck in your next career path. Very funny guy. Very distinctive laugh, which was very funny sometimes. Happy retirement. To try and make, obviously, a small video about Tom Scudamore and his career is um, incredibly tough. But I think to sum it up, fantastic jockey. Bit of a legend of the weighing room. Been a great friend to me the whole way through my career um, and still will be going forward. I think obviously what shows off is obviously with Skew's career how it has been fantastic but so many good memories throughout and so many lads have looked up for him for such a long period of time. I think it just shows what a kind of a great character he was and what an outstanding member of the weighing room he was and obviously wish him very, the very best of luck with everything he wants to do in the future and I'm nearly certain whatever he does turn his mind to he'll be very very good at it but there we go and we wish him the best of luck. It's hard to know where to sum up Tom Skew's career. Um, he's won loads and loads of big races. He'll tell you himself, uh, he's the king of the Hennessy, um, or the Labrooks Trophy as it is now. He's won that a, a few times and um, he's won numerous other big races as well. Loads of winners. Um, I think something that sums him up as a man more than anything is the, the long association with the pipes he's had. He's only had one proper job and um, I think that sort of tells you everything you need to know about the man. Uh, he's the ultimate professional. You'd have great banter with him in the weighing room, but as soon as you're out there, racing is very much at the forefront of his mind, and he's, um, you know, takes it very, very seriously. From a personal level, um, I started my racing life down with the pipes, um, and he was a fantastic mentor, always there for advice, um, great fun along the way. But um, I owe him an awful lot, um, and he's had a career that he should be immensely proud of, and I wish him and his family all the best for the future. Skew, you were one hell of a jockey an even better man. Uh, 
there was never ever a dull day in the weighing room when you were in there. Uh, incredible sharp sense of wit. Um, very intelligent, the most intelligent jockey I've met. Um, and you were going to miss you. Um, you're very fit, very strong, unbelievable in a finish. Um, and tactically the best around, I thought. Um, probably epitomizes that is the ride you gave Clough Cap in the Labrooks Trophy for Dad a few years ago when he won. Um, but you were very, very generous with your time to the younger generation and wanted them to improve. Um, and hopefully that will shine through um, as the years go by. But, you know, you were. 10th most successful jump jockey of all time is an unbelievable achievement and hopefully we can see you a lot um, through the years at the race course and still involved in racing which which is going to be great but uh, enjoy your retirement with your lovely wife Sarah and your young girls and um, we shall see you at the races sometime soon. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com